Squirrels are a big part of Bienville Square and the city of Mobile knows that. But after a study, they found there's just simply too many of them here in the park. So to try to help fix to fix that, the city is starting the process to trap and relocate some of them. The sights and sounds of Bienville Square really wouldn't be complete without squirrels. The city of Mobile says over 100 roam this more than two and a half acre area. I think it's a, a nice thing to see where you see some wildlife down here when you're downtown. The city of Mobile agrees, but within reason. They say the pint sized critter has become a problem in the square. They say their population here is five times higher than it should be. A normal uh, area, if they got too many squirrels, the population density was too high, they would move to other areas. There's no other area to move to because we're surrounded by buildings. To help bring the numbers in line, the city of Mobile, along with Wildlife Solutions, are beginning a relocation effort. Allie Rellinger, the city of Mobile director of animal services, says they plan to humanely trap about 25 squirrels this week and relocate them to another area in Mobile County. No one wants to see them fighting and diseased and having you know trouble because there are too many here. So this will give us a healthier squirrel population so that we can keep enjoying the squirrels in the square like people are used to. We're told the squirrels are also damaging the live oaks in the park. Some of the small traps are already in place, but trapping won't start until later this week while the squirrels get accustomed to them. People in the park today think it's a good idea. It's nice to see squirrels, but you know, but if it's overpopulated, I think it's better for the squirrels if they thin them out. They want to uh, lessen the population for their own good, if nothing else. Um, I think it's a good thing. The traps have peanuts on them and in them to try and lure the squirrels. The whole process is set to be done by the end of the week. Another important note, the trappers are asking people to not feed the squirrels while this whole process is underway. Live in downtown Mobile tonight, Tyler Fingert, Fox 10 News.